That's pretty rough. This filter's got uh, quite a bit of buildup on it. It's got a lot on it. <laughs> That's a lot. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Don't mind talking McGee in the background. He comes and goes as he pleases. Yeah, like he said. First gen's having some trans problems. Uh, I noticed the other day, my shift to second gear wasn't as strong. And then when I went to shift to third, it would like free rev until it hit third. It would get better as it warmed up. So I texted Mr. 12 Alv Austin, who will be here like a minute after you guys watch this. Um, he's coming over in the morning. He knows more about trans stuff than I do, but he's going to come and gander and everything and do a band adjustment on front, the front band and the rear band, second gear band and the rear, the low reverse band. And then we do got a new filter, a new overdrive slash lockup solenoid, and power driven's ATF. It's just what I've ran, and this is also a solenoid from them. So we just got it all one and done from those guys. So we're gonna hurry and get this drained out tonight while it's draining so that when Austin comes tomorrow, we're not in a dripping mess trying to swap stuff out and get those stuff swapped over. So we're gonna hurry and just get this drain bolt popped, let this drain overnight, and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning when Mr. Austin's here. The man himself has arrived. Moment of... Oh, I thought you had a deeper pan on this. Oh no, she's bone. She's just a stalker. You know the deal. Yeah, might not be a bad idea in the future. Yeah, probably right. But you've got that big cooler, right? Yeah, and I've, I've, I've had it touch 150 once. Yeah. Okay, so this one. Oh, come on here. And last one, there we go. Ooh. Moment of, oof, that filters. Magnet doesn't look too bad though. Look, it's pretty rough. <laughs> that filter's looking. Where's my key, where's my light? Oh, this band is so stupid loose. This is my second gear? Both of them, low and second. I can fit my finger in the second gear band. Oh my goodness. I'll bet you that's all band material. From them being loose? Mm-hmm. I'd almost put money on it. That's a fair amount, but I think it's it'll be okay. So our up. solenoids are... Are on my side over here. These two guys. So also you don't have to pull the out body to... Or do you? Oh, you know what? We will have to drop that side to get the plug out. That's right. Let me show the folks this filter here. She's looking, she's looking real good. <laughs> Hopefully we can fix her up. Yeah. This filter's got uh, quite a bit of buildup on it. I'll bet you're running li low line pressure with how much it's plugged up. Yeah, you never get it all. So then you'll get that. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that entire thing is. It's got a lot on it. <laughs> That's a lot. Do your maintenance, folks. I do oil changes religiously. I guess I need to <laughs> up my transmission, transmission servicing. Transmission servicing. Be into this pan of goods here. That is looking okay. mighty fine. Mighty kind of. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's uh... That's rough. I'm hoping most of that is your band. What kind of concerns me is like those long strands are kind of weird. Okay, if I can get one. They just kind of dissolve. Which is mostly band material? Or? Yeah, I think most of it is. The long strands, I don't, I've never really seen long strands. 
but it's ultimately it's still clutch material of sort. Yeah, versus if it was like copper. Yeah, yeah, it's not bearings, it's not hard part. There's a little bit of, yeah, of copper in there, but that really nothing to be putting in. Anything. Yeah, that was a uh, god. <laughs> that's why people like these so much. I mean, they are gnarly filters to be able to catch that. Yeah, if we were smart, we could put a common rail in them. Good. Except for my dumbass, put it on backwards. Uh, oh, the 12 ball. Oh, the 12 ball. There we go. Uh, green button. Green button? Yep. Shit boxes now in here. Yeah, come to come to be a good friend and help, and now we're working on mine. That makes a lot of sense. Yep, typical Austin fashion. Oh, looks like there's been some some burnouts. What? Never. This truck's never done a burnout in its life. We're gonna hurry and fix Austin's rig, and then we'll go drive in the first show, and I'll go grab the GoPro, and we'll get you guys all set up and go for a rip. Moment of truth. Pressure gauge. Check. Speedo. Check. <laughs> yeah. So if I engage lock up, should that be higher? Yeah. But like Peyton's? First gear stout. Yeah. That's hard to park the fire at it. Yeah. 
that solenoid sense just like you're shifting. So it changes yeah. that. That first gear is, is stout, it's there. <laughs> so we'll pull it off and then you just a turn is 10. Yeah, one turn is 10 to the side. We'll have to see where it's at, because if it's against, if it's all the way against the front plate, it's at the lowest line pressure setting. But if it's like midway through, we got problems. Gotcha. So ultimately his line pressure is running kind of low. We're going to see if we can turn it up to counteract whatever has most likely gone wrong in the transmission. <laughs> it's not necessarily the happiest, but it's an easy way to check it. So, and I think what line pressure is at 90 typically. Yeah. Like around 150 yeah. is where we'd like to see so it. We're a little low. Yeah. So we're going to drain fluid real quick, probably adjust and fill it back up and then we'll catch up with you guys on the next. Test drive. Yeah. Reverse is a stout son of a bit. She's always been pretty good. Oh, she's ready to party. Ready to party! We're higher on line pressure. Yeah. Idling, about a hundred. Hundred-ish. Yeah. 105. Yeah, right about. 110 when I give her a little give bit a little of the sauce. sauce. Mr. Austin's gone. Huge thank you to Mr. Austin for coming out here and helping me. I'm not a, I don't claim to know it all and I definitely know with transmissions. Uh, I think we wrapped up with being able to get pressure to like 120-ish locked. So it's higher. Fourth gear still delayed, but when fourth gear hits shift now, it's very solid. Uh, as you guys saw, we are definitely what came out of that pan and the filter when we took it apart, definitely not good. So I think probably, hopefully we saved it for another season, but I think she's on her way out. Hopefully she lasts me the rest of the season. I think overdrive clutches and whatnot are definitely done for, hence why it's so delayed. That was a brand new solenoid pack. So don't think there's any saving it. We're just gonna try and, 
well, we're just going to beat the crap out of it. Hopefully it lasts us the rest of the year. Plan on a trans build for this probably in the winter. And she's back to ripping. Turbo shot again. But I keep saying preach. I keep preaching. Take care of your 12 valves. Here we are. I wasn't taking care of mine. Do your trans. Do your trans filter religiously because I haven't changed that since we did the converter. And I don't know what it was. So take care of your 12 valves, including your transmission. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.